We give God a praise. We give God the honor. We give God adoration. Please wave your hands at the Lord. Wave your hands at him. Wave your hands to Jesus. <clears throat> give him a wave offering. Give the Lord a wave offering. If you're on the platform, please wake up, sit down, and give the Lord a wave offering. I have told us the way we treat the things of God is the way God treats us. I know that for a fact. That's why I'm still here like this, holding on to him. However you hold on to God, he appreciates it because God sees the heart of men. Hallelujah. Not what men are seeing is what he is seeing. So it's very important. It's very prudent that your relationship with God will be solid. You solidify your relationship with God. Hallelujah. So every time you go with to him with any kind of argument, any kind of petition, any kind of supplication, his will for your life comes to pass. You just remind him of what he has said concerning you, and you see him sending his angels to go to work. I pray for someone that the Lord will send his angels to go to work on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate God again. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate him. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time. God is all good. The time. God is good. Appreciate God for what Amen. he's doing in your life. Appreciate him for how far he has brought you. Appreciate him for your family. Appreciate him for your life. Appreciate him for your good friends and we even the bad friends. Thank God for them. Appreciate God wherever you are. Father, I appreciate you. I thank you for everything in my life in the name of Jesus. Appreciate him. Appreciate him wherever you are. Say, Father, thank you. Say, Lord, thank you. King of kings, thank you. Lord of Lord, thank you. Thank him. Thank him. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, today, let's appreciate God for our Father in the Lord and our Mother in the Lord, Apostle Johnson Suleiman and uh, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. Let's thank God for their lives. I appreciate God for them. Just say, Lord, thank you for their lives. Thank you. Lord, use them. Thank you, um, Lord. For what you have called them to do in the name of Jesus. Open your Thank mouth you, and Lord. ask God for that. Then Take thank God out. for yourself. Hallelujah. Not everybody wakes up, even though they call themselves Christians, and makes time to be in his presence. Amen. Thank God for that grace that he has bestowed upon you to make time. You'd rather be with your friends, rather be at the beach. I know a friend that wakes up and then goes to, um, um, ex goes to the gym and then, you know, asks me to take her children to church. Praise the Lord, which I did. Um, she'd rather be in the gym than be in church. There's no grace. Hallelujah for God. So you have grace. So I appreciate God for yourself. Hallelujah. Appreciate God um, that you have been able to come to his presence. Sometimes when you are going to church, the devil will start taunting you. Remember you did this and you're going to church? Hey, remember you did that and you it doesn't work like that. God loves you all the same. So I appreciate Amen. him. Thank you, Jesus. And thank God for my life. Thank God for my family. Thank God for all that he's using me to do. Hallelujah. God is still in the business of using anyone that avails himself. And I thank God for what he's doing, what he has done, what he's about to do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is the last Sunday of October. And so we're going to pray into the month of October. Uh, show me, let me see your Bibles. Show me your Bibles. 
Let's see your Bibles. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit can see you. Hallelujah. Let's see your Bibles. Show your Bibles. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 24, verse 7. Psalm 24, verse 7. It says, lift up your head, O ye gates, ye everlasting doors, for the king of glory to come in. And another voice said, who is the king of glory? The Lord God Almighty, the Lord mighty in battles. We're going to pray as you enter into the month of October that every gate, everlasting gate will be lifted up unto you. I say every everlasting gate, gates of old, Ancient gates, gates that close to your fathers, gates that close to your mothers, gates that close to your family, gates that were close to your ancestors, your, <clears throat> your friends. As you enter into the month of October, those gates will be open unto you. I say gates will be open unto you. Amen. Ancient gates, everlasting gates. Everlasting means that those gates are bound to be closed, everlasting. Mm -hmm. But I prophesy in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, that every ancient gate, everlasting gate, as you enter into the month of October, will be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray. This is not the uh, our sermon. We're just praying. In the name, lift up your hands wherever you are. Say, my father, my father. Father, in the name of father, Jesus, in the, the name, name of above Jesus. every other name, the as name I enter into the month of October, and oh God of heaven, of you have my God permission. Let my every God. gate, everlasting yeah. gates, be open unto me. Yeah. I command everlasting gates to be yeah. open yeah. unto me. Command yeah. everlasting yeah. gates. Yeah. Command yeah. every gate yeah. that has yeah. been closed yeah. unto yeah. you. Command yeah. those yeah. gates yeah. to be open yeah. unto yeah. you yeah. in the month yeah. of October. Ah, Kaleataya. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the name above every other name. You have my permission, O oh Lord, as we enter into the month of October. Let every everlasting gate uh, be open up unto me. Let gates be open up unto me. Makahandaya baselegen. Ilegeze lekete lekete legedo. Ilegeze legeza lagada. Ilegeza lagado logoza lagada. Ilegeze legeze legeze. Command gates to be open unto you. Financial gates, ministerial gates, gates, uh, business gates be open unto you, Marita gates be open unto you, academic gates be open unto you, every gate that needs to open as you enter into the month of October, we command those gates to be open in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, as I stand in your presence, you have my permission. Ah, from now onwards into the month of October and beyond, any closed gate, O oh God of heaven, according to Psalm 24, verse 7, let those gates that has been closed unto to us be lifted. Let the gates be lifted. I decree by the decree of heaven that every closed gate in my life and destiny, gates that you have in closed, that are closed, oh God of heaven, let them be lifted. Let them be lifted. Let them be lifted. Let them be lifted. Let gates, ancient gates, be lifted in our lives, in the life of my family, in the lives of my children, in the lives of my spouse, in the life of 
of every church member, O oh God of heaven, anyone connected to this altar, O oh God of heaven, let their gates be lifted in good faith. I pray for those that deserve it. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your head, O ye gates, ye everlasting doors, for the King of glory to come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God Almighty, the Lord mighty in battle, Magadanda, Alagazanda, in Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. The Lord mighty in battle is Jehovah Sabaoth. Amen. Hallelujah. Life Amen. is war, whether you like it or not. Praise the Lord. Even drinking Amen. water is war between your throat and the water. I have seen it. A little baby gone because they were feeding the baby with porridge and the, uh, the porridge went to the wrong place. Hallelujah. Even eating is, is a battle. When you finish eating and nothing happens, you have won the battle. When you finish eating and you don't choke, you have won the battle. When you finish drinking water and you don't choke, ha, leba kaya, you have won the battle. Hallelujah. Hey, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord mighty in battle, Elohim Sabaho, Yahweh Sabaot. We are calling on Yahweh Sabaot. As you enter into the month of October, that the Lord mighty in battle, Yahweh Sabaoth will go with you into Amen. the month of October and beyond. Amen. You are calling God. Leba Sanda, say, my father, my God in heaven, my I call father, on you. Thank you for the month of September. You. As we enter into the month of October, I call on you, my father, my God, mighty in battle. Yahweh Sabaota, go with me into the month of October. Go with me into the month of October. Go with me. Go with us. Go with us. Call on God, mighty in battle. Yahweh Sabaota, to go with you into the month of October. In the name of Jesus, my father, my God, Yahweh Sabaota, I stand in your presence and call upon you this day, this moment, uh, as we enter into the month of October, from now into October and beyond. Uh, Lord, go with us. Uh, go with me. Call upon the Lord mighty in battle uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that Amen. as you enter into the month of October, every battle will be won uh, for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, the battle is won already. Bible says the battle is of the Lord. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, uh, the name above every other name. Amen. Yahweh Sabaota, thank you for the month of September. As we enter into the month of October, Lord mighty in battle, thank you for going with us in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and invite God to go with you into the month of October. Invite him. Hey. Malayantaya, ilegezi legezi legete. Bible says, up until now you have not asked for anything. Then ask, you shall be given. Ask him right now. Liba zandia, ilegezi legezi legete lebezi legete legete. Ilegezi legete legezi. Ilegete legete lebazi legeze. Ilegete legeze. Ilegezi legete 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 lebazi legede. Ilegezi legezi legete legete. Ilegezi is a lagada la basilicate licate, illegate le batilicate, illegate le batilicate licate. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. The Lord Amen. is going with you. Every battle set for you, you have won the battle automatically in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We are praying. 
Bible says, uh, it says, lift up your head, O ye gates, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory will come in. And then there's another voice who says, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. There is a contentious voice asking for who is the king of glory. We all know that the Lord is the creator of the heavens and the earth. The Lord is the creator of everything around us. Everybody knows that, including Satan. Hallelujah. When he put Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden, uh, after Adam called the animals with every name, Satan turned around to go and tempt Adam. So everybody knows. But when it comes to contention, the enemy behaves like they don't know. Hallelujah. Because they are being contentious. They behave like they don't know who you are. They don't know whose you are. They don't know the God that you serve. So this is a contentious voice. Saying, who is the God of glory? You should have known that already. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is why Amen. it is important that the Lord of glory always proves himself in your life because the devil is walking about, you know, pretending and also boasting that they've done this, they've done that. So until your God answers them, it, 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 it's not, it, it will not be a good sight. You are going to ask the God of glory, hallelujah, to silence them. Every evil tongue, every evil speaker, every evil speaker, evil speakers against your life, uh, evil tongues against your life, uh, anyone that has been hired, anyone that has collected money against you to destroy what God has said, every evil speaker, every evil tongue person that the enemy has raised against you, you are going to pray that the Lord silence them. The Lord mighty in battle, silence them. Amen. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice uh, in the name of Jesus that this month, uh, this month, uh, as you enter into the month of October, the Lord is silencing evil speakers against you. Evil Amen. speakers in your ministry, evil speakers in your business, evil speakers in your family. God has started silencing them already. I say Amen. the Lord silence them. Amen. Elohim silence them. King Amen. of kings silence them. Evil speakers Amen. at your workplace. God is silencing them. You don't have Amen. to know how God is going to do it. He has his own way of doing stuff. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice uh, that victory belongs to you. I Amen. say victory belongs to you Amen. as the Lord moves in your direction to silence evil uh, uh, speakers on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Raise up your right hand of fire. Evil speakers at your workplace, the Lord is silencing them. Elohim Amen. is silencing them. King Amen. of Kings is silencing them in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, as I stand in your presence and pray this morning, silence every evil speaker, every contender, anyone contending with what you have said concerning me, anyone contending with what you have placed in my hands, any evil speaker in my life and destiny, evil speakers around me, oh God of heaven, silence them, 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 silence them. Silence them in the name of Jesus. Evil speaker, contrary spirit, the Lord silence evil speakers around you. Whoever they are, wherever they are, no matter, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, I prophesy, ah, with my hands lifted up to heaven, that I, from now onwards into the month of October, whether evil speakers like it or not, God himself, not man, has silenced them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says... Lift up your head, O ye gates, ye everlasting doors, for the King of glory to come. And who is the King of glory? The Lord mighty in battle, uh, the Lord strong and mighty. You are going to ask for the strength of God in the name of Jesus as you enter into the month of October, that the Lord will grant you strength. Hallelujah. Uh, the Lord will give you his might. You need might. You need strength. You need power. 
Praise the Lord. Uh, you need might, you need strength. Amen. All of it, it does, is the same thing. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Say, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, as we enter into the month of October, baptize me with strength. Baptize me with might. Infuse me with power in the name of Jesus. Baptize us with strength. Baptize us with might and infuse us with power. Infuse us with power. Your power, O Lord. Ask God to baptize you with power, baptize you with strength, infuse you with power, infuse you with power. You need power. This end time, you will not give up easily. You will not give up. Receive the power of God. Receive the strength of God. Bible says he's almighty God. Almighty. Receive that grace. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. The name above every other name. If God is your role model, then receive that grace or that mighty, mightiness of him receive you say i receive that grace right now in the name of jesus god bless you amen amen praise the lord hallelujah amen. let's bring our bibles to the book of proverbs chapter 24 verse 19 to 20 proverbs chapter 24 from verses 19 to 20 hallelujah Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, uh, do not fret because of evildoers or be envious of the wicked. For the evildoer has no future or hope and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. Hallelujah. Another translation says, fret not yourself because of evildoers. And be not envious, for the wicked, for the evil man has no future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have no future. Praise the Lord. Today, our sermon is entitled Pure Judgment on the Wicked. Pure Judgment on the Wicked. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11 it says, because sentence against evil work is not executed speedily, the heart of man is said to do more evil. Because sentence against evil work is not executed speedily, the heart of man is said to do more evil. Man is evil. Hallelujah. Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. But the truth is, when you read Psalm 51, verse 5, it says, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived us. So the truth is we are all brought forth in iniquity, and we were all, uh, um, uh, con we were all conceived in sin and brought forth in iniquity. But God made grace available for us so that by so doing, we can be transformed and renewed. Praise Master Jesus. When you Amen. read Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, it says, For all, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of this, God made provision to give his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the conscious effort that we, all of us as believers have made um, at, the, uh, at the time of renouncing salvation to know God, so that as you believe in God, that sin that has made you falling short of his glory, that sin will go away or reduce so that the original glory of God comes to pass in your life. So for this reason, it is so important as a child of God, when you say I'm a believer, you ought to be a real believer so that the glory of God will be seen. Hallelujah. The glory of God will be highlighted in your life. 
Praise the Amen. Lord. It it is Amen. nothing. There is nothing wrong with being a sinner and now changing to God, because Bible says we were all brought forth in sin. Praise, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. In Amen. Ephesians chapter two verse eight, we're going somewhere. In Ephesians chapter two verse eight, it says, "For by grace we have been saved through faith, and this is not your your own doing; it is the gift of God." Hallelujah. By faith, uh, we, by grace, we have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works so that anyone can boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. And so that by faith, God made faith available by giving us his only begotten son, Jesus, not by our works, not by our beauty, not by our finances, not by our riches, not by academics, not by anything, but so that we can exude, we can behave like him. He just gave us that free will, that free grace, hallelujah, so that we can be of good works, move from being born into sin, hallelujah, being conceived in iniquity to what? To show forth his good works. This is the reason of us being Christians. Praise the Lord. If you are not a Christian, you cannot show forth good works. You'll be showing forth evil because that, that faith, uh, that grace is not available to a person that is not of God. I don't know if I'm making sense. Hallelujah. And so I prophesy in the name of Jesus the name above every other name upon someone at the sound of my voice, according to the scripture, Ephesians 2, 8, that after now you will show the good works of God. Hallelujah. By faith and by the grace that God has made available for us, you will show forth his good works. Hallelujah. You will show forth his good works. I say you will show Amen. forth his good works. Amen. People will see you and say, ah, this one is of God. Praise the Lord. This one Amen. is a, a godly man. This is a godly man. This is a godly child. This is a godly woman. This is a godly girl. But Amen. in the name of Jesus, that will be your pro a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. God gave us this great grace, not for wickedness. He gave us this great grace, not to marginalize our neighbors. He gave us this great grace, uh, not for gossiping. He gave us this great grace, uh, not, not for uh, blackmailing. He gave us this great grace, not for, I mean, rubbish things. He gave us this great grace, according to Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. He gave us this great grace, to heal the sick, Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, to heal the sick, hallelujah, read, when you read, it will tell you to heal the sick, to raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received, freely give, so God gave us this grace to heal the sick, Anyone that believes in God and believes in the word of God should be able to heal the sick. It is not a portion to one person. Of course, we have giftings, but as a child of God, you should be able to pray for the sick and the sick will be healed. You should be able to pray for the dead, raise the dead. You should be able to cleanse leprosy from people and drive out demons. Every child of God that believes in God, that is under grace, should be able to do this. And the Bible says in Matthew 10, 8, that freely you have received, freely give. So, which means that there is nothing special as a child of God to do to receive this grace. But unfortunately, the saints, hallelujah, we are doing the opposite. This is the purpose of God. If you become a child of God, this is what you are supposed to be doing. And in trying to heal the sick, it means that you'll be dealing with people. You have to look for the masses, those that are sick to, 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 to heal them. You, in trying to raise the dead, you'll be, this is the purpose of the church. 
Unfortunate driver demons is one, two, three. You should not be scared of demons that they will come back. Come where? Praise the Lord. The demons are even scared of you. Praise Master Jesus. But unfortunately, wickedness has abound. Wickedness all over the place. You will find leaders, elders in church. In fact, they, they are the, the, the grand masons, grand masters of phantoming wickedness on the children of God. But today, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, pure judgment is coming upon the wicked. I say pure judgment is coming upon the wicked. Pure Amen. judgment is coming upon the wicked. Pure Amen. judgment is coming upon the wicked. Pure judgment is coming upon the wicked. Pure Amen. judgment is coming upon the wicked in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we are all sinners. But once you plead the blood of Jesus, you renounce salvation and try to walk in his precepts, sin becomes a choice. Whether you want to sin or whether you don't want to sin. Hallelujah. It does, it, it, it does not become strategically stable that because you are born into sin you have to sin it becomes a choice i pray for you in the name of jesus the name above every other name that after now you will choose the right things to do hallelujah Amen. the right things of god you will choose them praise the lord the right things that will make you stand with god you will choose them you will Amen. not be on the other side uh, uh, and choose the things against God. Hallelujah. What is sin? Sin is a choice to disobey God. What people call, oh, you have sin. Is, is, they say it's a sin because what you did, the Bible speaks against it. That's why people call it sin. Hallelujah. And so if you decide not to do it again, you are out of sin. Praise the Lord. It's very easy. God forgives you and you move on. So I pray for you. you. Whatever you are doing that the devil has kept you in the same place because of one sin or the other, I pray for your deliverance today. The Lord deliver you. The blood of Jesus Amen. deliver you. King of Amen. kings deliver you. Lord of Amen. Lord deliver you in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Pure judgment against the wicked. What is wickedness? Wickedness is a regular occurrence of an unacceptable behavior directed towards rebellion and against God, and not only that, to destroy somebody for destruction. So sin is something you commit by yourself in your own little room. You think God is not watching you. Hallelujah. And then you do it. That's sin. But wickedness or the wicked is has this rebellious mind mentality to destroy a person to destroy a man or woman of god or their family to destroy the family to destroy their own children to destroy somebody at work to destroy their neighbor to the, for destruction they just want to destroy things that's wickedness i pray for you in the name of jesus anyone in your life with that spirit of wickedness today the pure judgment of god locate them i said the pure judgment of god locate them Amen. the pure judgment of god locate them in the mighty name of jesus man wickedness is a, a a a pair a husband and a wife getting married the woman is fertile the man can have kids. A woman presents herself at the wedding just because of that union finds a way to demonically destabilize them that they cannot have kids. That's wickedness. That is not the will of God. And I pray for someone in the name of Jesus, any hand of the enemy in your life that is playing out today, that's 
wickedness come to an end. That power comes to an end. The pure judgment of God comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is wickedness? Wickedness is when a woman of age or a man of age is ready to get married, but no one approaches them for marriage. And is that's not from God, demonically instituted. That's wickedness. Hallelujah. That's wickedness. You see a woman going, no man. She, no man ever calls her, hi. How, no, even smile at her, nobody. They have veiled her that nobody, will, she will not get married. That's wickedness. Our father in the Lord told us about a, a wedding that was, was done and they gave them a gift. And out of that gift, there was a fruit in the, in, in the gift and the fruit didn't have a seed, which means that they will never have kids. That's wickedness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's wickedness. And today, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, the Lord is bringing judgment, pure judgment over the wicked in your life. Amen. Anyone that has taken you as an assignment, that is boasting, going, going back and forth, thinking that they've done some good because of the wickedness that they've tried to play out in your life. Pure judgment is locating them. The pure judgment of God is locating them. I Amen. said the pure judgment of God is locating them. Pure Amen. judgment. Pure judgment. The pure judgment of God is locating them. Why? Amen. Because you don't serve a good dead God. You Amen. serve a mighty God. He's the Amen. same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no um, man can say no when God lifts you up. No man um, can bring you down. God is on your side. Power um, is on your side. Favor um, is on your side. Shout um, fire. Fire. Shout fire. Fire. Shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wickedness is when somebody has finished school with all the degrees and certificates but cannot find a job. And this is not from God. It's from the doings of men that's wickedness wickedness is when somebody is working hard but eating like a slave wickedness is when somebody works hard by the time they're about to say oh the way things are going after this month i can be able to do this that's when they crush that person with some kind of occurrence wickedness is when Things are going well, that the enemy is so upset that they find every way to regress, re regress, repress, retrogress that person back is wickedness. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name. Today, I stand on this exalted altar and I ask the Lord that he should send pure judgment over the wicked of your life. Pure judgment over the wicked man or wicked woman in your life. Pure judgment over the wicked group of people in your life. Pure Amen. judgment over every mm -hmm. wicked uh, clan, uh, where whoever they are, wherever they are, the Lord should send pure judgment over them. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9 to 10, uh, it says, associate yourself, all ye people, and it shall be broken into pieces. Give Amen. ye, all ye from far countries. Gird yourselves, and it shall be broken into pieces. Gird yourselves, and it shall be broken into pieces. Take counsel together and it shall come to naught. Speak a word and it shall not stand for the Lord is with us. Amen. Because the Lord is with you. Every group of people, every association of wickedness, support group, whatever they call themselves, whatever title they have, that have gathered against you to disadvantage you, the Lord break them into pieces. I say, God break them into pieces. God Amen. scatter them into pieces. The Amen. Lord scatter them into pieces. Amen. Jesus scatter them into pieces. Whoever Amen. they are, wherever they are, the Lord scatter them into pieces. Amen. As long as they stand for wickedness, 
what they are doing is wicked. It's not of God. Just to reverse what God has said concerning your life. In the name of Jesus, the Amen. name above every other name, I ask Amen. the heavens to send pure judgment, pure judgment over them. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. It is about time that God does what he says he will do. He always does it. People go and pray and reverse it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I seal this declaration with the blood of Jesus that the wicked will not go unpunished. Any wicked person in your life will not go unpunished. I seal this with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Wickedness have become the order of the day. And because it is not addressed, according to Ecclesiastes 8, 11, the heart of man is set to do more evil. It is so very important that the Lord goes to work on your behalf. And I pray for you that the Lord is sending his angels to go or to work on your behalf. Amen. Because sentence, judgment Amen. is not done speedily, the heart of man is set to do evil, of course. The heart of man is said to do evil because of slow judgment. The person that did it will do it again because there is no judgment. Hallelujah. When you read Matthew chapter 22, verse 25, Bible says one woman married seven brothers. She married the first one, he died. Married the second one, no child, he died. The third one, no child, died. The fourth one, no child, up to the seventh one. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? This is when the scripture of Ecclesiastes 8, 11 comes in. Speedy judgment. If the first one had taken note that mm, this thing, we have, to, uh, we have to address this issue and make sure that it, it doesn't happen again. It, it would, she would not take seven people. Unfortunately, we live in a dispensation that one person, has, if the Bible says seven, right now, wicked, the wickedness playing around has defied the Bible. There's a new Bible coming up. One person has done 14 people. The Bible says seven, but now we live in a dispensation where one person it has done 14 people. What are we doing? What is going on? The truth is what a person does to one person, you are, it, it's, it's just a matter of time. You are next in line. You are next in line. It's just a matter of time. Wickedness is a spirit. It does not go away. Am I talking to somebody? Wickedness is a spirit. It doesn't go away. Bible says this woman married first, second, third. I said, what is going on? Nobody is addressing this, this, this lady. So she finished seven destinies. She finished seven generations. She aborted seven destinies and she died. She was a waste herself. She was such a waste herself. I would have wished that after she finished seven destinies, she probably married the eighth one and she, you know, left. She was a waste. She was just a waste. When people carry the spirit of waste, they're not going to, nothing good. I mean, there's not, they're not going to fix anything. There is nothing Satan gives. The devil gives nothing. If you are waiting for the devil to give you anything good, then you yourself, you don't know the God that you serve and you don't know the scriptures. John 10, 10, it says the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. This is his threefold ministry. So when the first died, the second died, the third died, and you are watching, more is going to die. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the coven of wickedness. Today, every coven scatters into pieces. Every coven of wickedness, whoever they are, wherever they are, I stand in the authority of the name of Jesus 
and I send a grenade into their coven, they scatter into pieces. They scatter Amen. into pieces. They scatter Amen. into pieces. Every Amen. coven prefect, I call for their obituary. COVID members, I call for your obituary that have stood up against any member of my family, myself, or anybody connected to this altar. In the name of Jesus, we call for your obituary. May Amen. the pure judgment of God locate you. The Amen. pure judgment of Elohim locate you. The Amen. pure judgment of God locate you. The good Amen. news is God says we should fret not because of evildoers. And so I'm fretting not, but I lift you up before the throne room of grace. Whoever you are, wherever you are, that you are, you are predestined and anointed to do evil. May the God of heaven send his pure judgment over you in the name of Jesus. Man. When you read Psalm 11 verse 5, it says God hates the wicked. Hallelujah. God hates the wicked. So it, it, it's an error for you to pamper wickedness. Hallelujah. Our father says, you don't pamper wickedness. You hammer them. Hallelujah. You don't pamper wickedness. Don't let any wicked person intimidate you. Bible says the Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates them with passion. Anything wicked, know that is not from God. Anything. Don't let any exhortation Pamper your heart or cool you down. Anything regarding wickedness is not from God. God hates it with passion. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, it's the will of God from wickedness. God hates it with passion. So as long as it's wicked, it's from the devil. And so you have to stand to it and you're going to win that battle. No matter God hates it, God will give you the victory. I pray for someone going through any kind of wickedness that the Lord gives you the victory. Elohim gives you the victory. Wickedness Amen. in your marriage, God gives you the victory. Wickedness Amen. at your workplace, God gives you the victory. Wickedness Amen. in your academics, God gives you the victory. Wickedness Amen. in your neighborhood, God gives you the victory. Wickedness Amen. in your neighborhood, God gives you the victory. Wickedness Amen. in your business, God gives you the victory. I say Amen. God gives you the victory. Elohim gives you the victory. King of Amen. kings gives you the victory. Lord of lords gives you the victory. God Amen. hates wickedness with passion yeah. and the lord said he's sending pure judgment over the wicked beloved if you are wicked wicked wickedness is the spirit of destruction hallelujah to do something to destroy something to do something to set a person back to do something to take the originality of what god has said concerning that person is wickedness to lie, to manipulate is wickedness. To gossip wrongly is wickedness. Hallelujah. To frame a person to say things that is wickedness and God hates that person. If you are on the line hearing my voice, please, if you are a partaker of that today, repent. Hallelujah. Repent. Just have a clear heart. Have a clear conscience. Focus on God. Let them be wicked, not you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that in case you have that seed of wickedness, receive repentance. Receive repentance. Receive yeah. repentance. Because yeah. you don't want God to hate you with passion. So I tell you today, if you see any wicked person, just say, Lord, you hate wickedness with passion. Look at what John Doe has done and give the rest to God. That's all you have to do. Because Bible says the word of the Lord always goes to accomplish the purpose at which it was sent. I pray for someone that you will follow God precept after precept in the name of Jesus. In Isaiah 13 verse 1, it says, I will punish the wicked and cause Hallelujah. The angry of the proud to seize. Hallelujah. I will punish the wicked. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I will punish the wicked. The Lord says he will punish the wicked. There's wickedness all over the place. Isaiah 13 verse 11. There is wickedness all over the place. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. You look around, you're like, what's going on here? 
Why? What's going on? And and the worst part is is in the house of God. Yes, I said so. It's in the house of God. What is the purpose? Is it that we go to church to show our clothes or we go to church to renew our minds and to be like Christ? Well, I don't know what's going on. It says, I will punish the world for its evil, the wicked for their sins. He will punish the wicked for their sins. And so be rest assured, any wickedness that was shown to you, the Lord, in fact, God is punishing them already. Hallelujah. He's punishing them already. If God opens your eyes to tell you, to show you what he's doing to the wicked, you, you, will, you, you will always be dancing. Hallelujah. He says, I will put an yeah. end to the arrogance of the haughty and will humble the pride of the ruthless. What wicked people do is they walk around in pride because they are ruthless. They are lawless. Praise the Lord. They are ruthless, lawless, and arrogant because they are able to what? Mess up a destiny. Dest God gave so much. His only begotten son's blood. He gave so much provision for your life. Only for one person from uncircumcised Philistines to come and destroy it is impossible. Unless you allow that. Tell your neighbor, don't allow it. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. In the name of Jesus. Says the Lord punish the wicked. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Per adventure. Any wicked person in my life, you have my permission. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. As long as they are in my life to destroy it, to spoil it, to say no to the yes that you have said in my life. Thou that seest in darkness as in daylight. O God of heaven, punish them. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. Open your mouth and ask God to punish them, the wicked. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. In the name of Jesus, punish them. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have my permission to the north, south, east, and west, wherever they are, wherever they are, oh God of heaven, punish the wicked. Punish the wicked. Punish the wicked. Punish the wicked. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. I activate your word in Isaiah 13, verse 11. Thou that goeth not back on your word, but let your word accomplish its purpose. Any wicked person in my life, in our life, in the name of Jesus, oh, you have our permission, you have my permission this day. Lord, put an end to their arrogance. Put their an end to their haughtiness. Put their an end to their ruthlessness and punish them. Punish them. Punish them in the name of Jesus. What you don't understand, you that you are listening, wickedness is real. Hallelujah. You don't understand. If you, you don't want to go through wickedness. One time a church member called me and said, why is it that it is the good people that suffer, suffer more from wicked people? Why is it that the, 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 the good person gets more, more, more wickedness? More, I don't know how he said it. I cannot translate it word to word, but that's how he said it. That's how he said it. Why? Hallelujah. Why? But the Lord today in the name of Jesus reign his pure judgment over every wicked person. I say, Elohim, reign his pure judgment over every wicked person. Amen. And in case you are, in, you are a wicked person, but partaker of this grace, I ask you that you repent. Amen. Hallelujah. Repent. Repent. It, it, it's worthless. God hates it with passion, and you don't want to be a, a person that God hates in the name of Jesus. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14, it says the wicked cannot sleep. This is what I was trying to explain to you. Real wicked people, I know one, cannot sleep until they commit wickedness. The, and this is the scripture. It's not coming from me. 
Proverbs 4, 14. The wicked cannot sleep until they have done evil. Hallelujah. The wicked cannot sleep until they have done evil. So if you are a person and you think, oh, leave these people alone. They are also a, a child of God. What is it? You think you are perfect? You are perfect. All of us, we are sinners. We are all sinners. Leave, leave that person alone. Okay. You are sinners, but you go to sleep with nobody in your mind. But the wicked person goes to sleep, cannot sleep until they do evil. So until you handle them, until they are eradicated, until they are out of your life, it's a problem. I have seen it firsthand. The same wicked person moving about here, there, here, there's the same person because judgment hallelujah, upon evil has not been executed. It is about time that any wicked person in your life, the Lord take them out. I say, Elohim, take them out. King of kings, yeah. take them out. Lord of yeah. Lord, take them out. I say, yeah. God, take them out. I say, yeah. God, take them out of your life. The Lord, take them out of your marriage. The Lord, yeah. take them out of your business. The Lord, yeah. take them out of your children's life. The Lord, take them out yeah. of your ministry. The Lord, yeah. take them out of your, your business. The Lord, take them out of your environment. The Lord, take them out. I said, the yeah. Lord, take them out. God yeah. takes them out. May the Lord take every wicked person in your life out. You don't have to yeah. know how, but just believe God uh, that he should give you deliverance from wicked persons in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus. Man, Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 that in the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the glory of God. In the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the glory of God. So before Uzziah's death, Isaiah was an errant boy. Isaiah could not attain his full purpose. He could not live his full purpose. He could not fulfill the actual purpose of why he was on this earth. The biggest prophet on earth, prophet Isaiah was the prophet that prophesied that a child would be born. He prophesied 700 years later, it came to pass and the child was Jesus. But when he was with Uzziah, he was an errant guy. He was part of the people in the house because Uzziah was the king. But Bible yeah. says in the year that Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne and the train of his robe filled the temple. He saw God. There are people that must exit your life. In the name, this sounds bad, but this is, the devil is not in to pamper oh. you. You cannot pamper them. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the name above every other name, anybody that must exit your life for you to see the Lord, may they exit your life. May they exit Amen. your life. May they Amen. exit your life. Yeah. May they right. exit, exit, exit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that wants you dead, that must die. So that what God has said concerning you will come to pass. I ask the court of heaven and I ask God to execute judgment over them. Amen. Divine judgment over them. Amen. Divine judgment over them. Divine Amen. judgment over them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that must die for you to see the Lord. Anyone that must die for the assignment that God has placed in your hands to come to pass. Uh, may that come to pass in your life. May Amen. that come to pass. Uh, may that Amen. come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the year King Uzziah died, Isaiah, before then, Isaiah was living a rubbish life. Ask me how. He was a gossip, talking everywhere. Amen. You know how gossip, gossips have no class. As Amen. long as you bring gossip, they will join you. They have gossips. It's a shame what that spirit can do to you. Gossip Amen. don't have no barrier, have no class. They gossip anything, anywhere, nothing, nothing, not gossip. I, the, I forget. Isaiah was like that. He was a gossip. 
talking, giri, buru, gra, gra, everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why? Because he was an errand boy. He could not fulfill his full purpose. And so the realm that he was made him a gossip. Bible says in the year Uzziah died, he fulfilled his term. He, he, he fulfilled his full purpose. As we enter into the month of October, you will fulfill your purpose. You will fulfill your purpose. Amen. Anything that represents Uzziah in your life, we command them dead. Any mm. man or woman that represents Uzziah in your life, that will not let you fulfill purpose. We command them dead. You will fulfill yes. your purpose in the month of October. In the yes. name of Jesus, what Amen. God has said concerning you, you will fulfill that purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, an angel went and touched Isaiah's tongue with burning coals of fire, cleansed him, purged him, and made him whole. After he was cleansed, when you read six down, is there. After he was cleansed, now he can hear the Lord well. The Lord said, who shall I send? Isaiah said, send me. Because he has been cleansed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord sent him. There are people that have been bewitched, moving here and there, going back and forth with contrary spirits. Apparently, Gossip spirit is of the devil, is not of God. Contrary spirit moving here and there. If you want God to deliver you, may the angels of God touch your tongue with burning coals of fire and deliver you this day in the name of Jesus. I Amen. said, The Lord deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Isaiah was delivered. And after that, Isaiah became prophet Isaiah himself. The Lord sent him. And everything God told him came to pass. Some of you are walking around bewitched, be de deviled, hallelujah, be deviled, doing Amen. things contrary to the will of God, messing up destinies. Today, I ask that you repent. If not, the pure judgment of God is coming on you. The pure judgment of God is coming on you. Amen. And one thing about God, his judgment sometimes is the same way grace is extensive, exten uh, extensive, same way the judgment of God is. Sometimes his judgment surpasses the person then goes, 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 goes. I pray for you will not be your portion. After now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah repented. And then Isaiah became a tool for the Lord in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, any form of hindrance, any form of a uh, person in the form of hindrance, any form of uh, uh, act in the form of hindrances, anything in the form of Uzziah that has become a king, that has become an idol in your life, in the form of Uzziah that is stopping you from becoming what God has said concerning your life. Uh, today, receive that deliverance. I say receive Amen. the deliverance. Receive Amen. that deliverance. Amen. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uzziah was a king. He was a higher up. It could be something in your life that is, that is up. Hallelujah. That you Amen. look up to that thing. It could be money, it could be anything. Because of that, you cannot serve God well. Because of that, uh, you have become a, a, a gossip. Because of that, uh, Satan has hired you to destroy the house of God. Because of that, uh, you, 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 you are on Satan's uh, payroll to, 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 to cause problems in the house of God. Receive deliverance today. I say receive that deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is so very important that the judgment of God locates wicked people. And because God has made available repentance, the blood of Jesus, 
He has made available everything to change us from the way we were born, born into sin, to become righteous. And so it's either you choose to be that or you choose to remain in sin. And once you choose to remain in sin, Bible says he hates not not even remaining in sin is fine but using that sin using your logic using your mind to destroy things god hates you with passion you will not be the one that god will hate with passion i pray for you in the name of jesus the name above every other name that after Mm -hmm. now you will not be the one in the books of god that he hates with passion You will be one of the people that the Lord will touch your tongue with burning coals of fire. That after now you profess the word of God, you you will help the kingdom of God to move forward. Instead of destroying the house of God, you will be the one to build the house of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you read 2 Kings chapter 11 verse 5, uh, regarding the spirit Atalia, Atalia, the daughter of um, what Jezebel and the daughter of Ahab. Ahab was his father. Jezebel was his mother. So Atalia had the dual spirit, dual wicked spirit of Jezebel as well as Ahab. Because of that, Atalia, when spirit people are, are, are encroached with demons, they, their brain, their logic is demonic. Because of that, Atalia's own son, Ahaziah, when he died on the throne, at, as a grandmother, Atalia was not a grandmother again. He, he be, she became a contender against her own grandkids. Instead of being the protector for her own grandkids, she was contending against them. This is what evil spirits do. Spirits don't have brain of fixing things. Spirits are, have brains of destroying things. So when you see those kind of things around you, immediately address them. Don't pamper them. Address them. Praise the Lord. Address it, address it, address it in the name of Jesus. Because the devil is not going to fix it. He's not going to. He's just... A heightened man and he has no power he just uses manipulation can call you and be laughing with you so that you uh, uh, it, uh, it will know more about you and then goes back to work on on it it's just manipulation call you live physically talk to you just to know more and then go back to do more Whereas God will not call you life physically, he's a spirit he can see. So Satan has no power, he only, he's only strategic. Atalia, who was supposed to be protecting his, her own grandchildren, killed all of them. That is wickedness. What could Atalia have been thinking? So which means that when Ahaziah was a king, Atalia was wishing, but nobody knew. Atalia was wishing, was waiting, but nobody knew. But thanks be to God. Bible says Jehoshaphat, hallelujah, took one of the kids, uh, Joash, and hid um, Ahaziah's son, who is Atalia's grandchild, hid the child. Bible says they... The priest in the town, of course, Atalia was reigning, but nobody liked it. Praise the Lord, because of the way she used up the throne. She stole it by fire, by force. And, and God, God did not approve of it. So they baptized the, what, uh, Joash to become king, whilst Atalia was still, was still on the throne. She, she stole the throne. What am I trying to say in this story? Atalia was put to death. The grandmother of the children, although she killed as many destinies as possible, Atalia was put to death. God honored that because they were able to kill her. It is so very important. There are certain people 
that must die. There are certain systems that must die. There are certain spirits that must die. There are certain things going on in your life that must go. They must be taken care of. You cannot be wishy-washy with certain things. These things are not there to fix. When Atalia got the opportunity, she killed them. She killed them and she succeeded because she was grandmother. Hallelujah. Very easy, manipulative. Hey, Kofi, grandma, come to grandma's room. Hey, Kojo, grandma has candy for you. Hey, grandma bought you a new dress. Cool. It will not be your portion. But the good news is the Lord ordered her execution. I pray for someone in the name of Jesus, any manipulative person, family member, whoever, wherever they are, that is waiting to do you evil, to do your children evil. In the name of Jesus, number one, the Lord exposed them. Number two, the Lord order their execution. I say Elohim order their execution. Whatever they have planned, I decree by the decree of heaven, Isaiah 7 verse 7, that it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Every agenda of hell, anyone closer to you, whether family member, whether friend, whether whoever they are, that have some kind of proximity to you, that is using that uh, quietly, to destroy what God is using you for. May the Lord expose them. May they begin to confess. I say they begin to confess. They will begin to confess. They will begin to confess. Isaiah 19 verse 2, it says, Egyptians will fight Egyptians. Brothers will fight brothers. Sisters will fight sisters. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, that after now, Egyptians will begin to fight Egyptians. Brothers will begin to fight against brothers. Neighbors against neighbors. City against cities. Kingdoms against kingdoms. And the truth, uh, they'll begin to expose themselves. Uh, we command a civil war in the midst of your enemies, in the midst of your wicked people, in the midst of your manipulators, uh, in the midst of all those that have stood up against you. The Lord command them to begin to fight themselves. We command a civil war in their midst. In the name of Jesus. Atalia used the advantage of her position to destroy the whole kingdom. She did too. She did. I pray for you. Anyone in any position in your family that is hiding behind wickedness to destroy what the Lord is using you to do. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord put them to death. I said the Lord put them to death. Any act of witchcraft, any act of wickedness, whoever they are, wherever they are, may the Lord expose their craft. The pure judgment of God locates them. I say wherever they are hiding, the pure judgment of God locates them in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Atalia was put to death. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus that that, this nonsense must stop. I say this nonsense must stop. Praise the Lord. Nonsense must stop. A lot of you, you are leading a life because of wickedness. What God said concerning you is not what is going on in your life. And that's not because you are a bad person, but it's because of loose association associating with the wrong people praise the lord and some of you i pity you when it happens you call that person involved is the same person you call to give them oh look what happened today and that's the person you are giving information to send you back to the coven in the name of jesus anyone manipulating your life the lord take them out in the name of jesus we are going to pray Bible says that in Daniel chapter 6, verse 24, please wave at the Lord, wave at him, wave at him, wave at him, wave at the Lord. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 24, Bible says the king commanded, hallelujah, the king, at the king's command, the men 
who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Hallelujah. These are people that won the victory over Daniel in the first place. But listen, a, a, a victory based on lies, a victory based on false accusation is a short victory. The victory that God gives you is more powerful. It's a longer victory. So these satraps, you know, went to the king so that the king can um, put a new mandate and a new law in place. The law of the Medes in place to affect Daniel so that Daniel's worshiping or uh, uh, worship with God will be affected. Uh -huh. They wanted to regress him in the spirit. They tried. <laughs> but God was on his behalf. Because of this, when they threw Daniel into the lion's den, Bible says, we all know the story, the king when Daniel was still alive. But what came out of it, the judgment, hallelujah, the pure judgment that came out of this, Bible says the same king that made the new law, the law of the Medes against Daniel, the same king came out again. I'm telling you, I'm, this is what I'm saying. The same people, the same person, if he can do it, then you do it now. It's a matter of time. The same king commanded that you guys, you came to tell me that Daniel did this, this is. I put you to death. Hallelujah. That they be thrown into the lion's den. If it's good for Daniel, it's good for you. This is called pure judgment. Hallelujah. They didn't say they should put them in a chicken den or, or put them in a leopard's den or put them in a tiger den. The same den. Hey! The same den. Praise the Lord. Bible says they were thrown into the same den along with their wives and their children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions, the lions, lions don't have brain, overpowered them and crushed their bones. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus that what they wish for you happened to them. I say what they wish for you happened to them. The pure judgment of God locates any wicked man or woman in your life. No exceptions. Amen. Whoever they are, wherever they are, wherever, anyone that has done you evil, that is boasting around, going back and forth, laughing in the name of Jesus, the Amen. name above every other name, may the pure judgment of God locate them and fashion Amen. against them. The pure judgment of God went on these people. Amen. When God says he hates wickedness, he's not lying. When God says he hates wickedness with passion, it's not a joke. Bible says these satraps did not sleep. They went back and forth until the king enacted that decree. That's when they were happy. Sometimes you do it to people, you think that is done. It, it, it's, it's not done. Hallelujah. It's not done. Somebody will say that there are three sides to every story. There is that one side, the other side, and the side of God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That the side of God to your story will show up for you. Amen. That the judgment of God to your story will show up for you. Amen. Will show up for you in your marriage. We we'll show up for you in your business. We we'll show up for you in your ministry. We we'll show up for you in your finances. We we'll show up for you in the life of your children. We we'll show up for you in every area of your life. That what Satan meant for evil, the Lord will turn them to good for you. I said Elohim will turn them to good for you. Amen. Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. Joseph Amen. said, you meant it for evil. But God turn it to good in the name of Jesus. May the God of heaven turn everything that was meant for evil. May the God of heaven turn them to good. 
in the Amen. case of Daniel, the God of heaven turned what they meant for evil to good for him. Amen. The same lions then, the king ordered that they be thrown in. This time, not only them, but with their family. In the name of Jesus, wickedness Amen. has abound. Bible says the whole wealth is lieth in wickedness. As long as you are minding your business, you are not minding somebody's business. And anyone has taken you as an assignment to derail you, to bring you shame, to, to, to marginalize you, to, 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 to blackmail you, to do evil against you. In the name of Jesus, we call upon the God of Daniel, the God that showed up that day on behalf of Daniel. May that God of judgment show up for you. I say, may the Lord of judgment show up for you. The Lord Man. of Daniel show up on your behalf. Man. The God of Daniel show up on your behalf. The Man. God of Daniel show up on your behalf. The Man. God of Daniel showed up. And they were put in the same place that they wanted Daniel to be in. May the judgment, pure judgment of God not fail on your enemies. May the pure judgment of God not fail as we enter into the month of October. May the pure judgment, may whatever has been stolen from you, normally or knowingly, may they return it in the name of Jesus. They return it by fire, by thunder, in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So they were put in Daniel's place and they were all, they all perished. What they meant for you, God will turn it to good for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We're going Amen. to pray. Hallelujah. Wave at the Lord. Wave at the Lord. Wave at Jesus. Wave at Jesus. Wave at Jesus. Wherever you are, we're going to pray. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Wickedness is real. When you sit down too long, you don't address it. You, you will not like what you see. Hallelujah. Wickedness is real. Minus you, minus your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wave at the Lord. Wave at him. Give him a wave offering. Speak in tongues wherever you are. Speak in tongues. Give him a wave offering. In the name of Jesus. Give him a wave offering. Worship him. Worship him. Say something nice to him as we go into prayer. Worship him, say something nice to him as we go into prayer in the name of Jesus. We worship and honor you. We worship and honor you. We magnify your holy name and exalt you. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Psalm 109. I'm going to read from verse 6. Psalm 109 from verse 6. Hallelujah. It says, set a wicked man over him and a judge and let a malicious accuser stand at his right hand. Set a wicked man over him. Appoint someone evil to oppose my enemy. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father, in the name father, of father. Jesus, the name above every other name, as you pour pure judgment over my my uh, enemies appoint someone to oppose them and let an accuser stand at their right hand appoint someone open your mouth in the name of jesus appoint someone to oppose my enemies let an accuser stand at their right hand in the name of jesus appoint someone appoint someone to oppose them in your workplace, uh, appoint, ask God to appoint someone, um, appoint someone evil to oppose them, appoint someone evil to oppose them in the name of Jesus. Appoint someone evil to oppose anyone any man or woman of wickedness in my life and 
destiny. Oh, appoint someone evil. My father, my God. Wherever they are, in the name of Jesus, appoint someone evil to oppose them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. And so when he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayers become sin. Verse 7. We are running. In the name of Jesus, raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my God, in the name of Jesus, when the wicked in my life shall be tried, let him be found guilty and may his prayers condemn him. Let them be found guilty and may their prayers condemn them. In the name of Jesus, my father, my God, let the wicked in my life, or when he is tried, let him be found guilty and let his prayers be condemned. Let his prayers be condemned. Them. Let her prayers be condemned in the name of Jesus. Let his prayers be condemned. Let his prayers be condemned. Let him be found guilty by the courtroom of heaven in the name of Jesus. I ask that the courtroom of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, that art a true God, that art a faithful God, let them be found guilty and let their prayers be condemned. Let in jesus mighty name it is settled amen amen hallelujah amen anyone that is prayer has prayed that your children be fatherless we return their prayers back to them that their amen. children will be fatherless in the name amen. of jesus amen. this is a return match we don't wish evil for our neighbors we don't wish evil for our our, our friends but as long as they are prayed that your children be fatherless so shall it be for them in the name of jesus Amen. i say so shall it be for them in the mighty name of jesus Amen. anyone that has prayed against you that has mentioned your name that your children will be fatherless Oh God, that my children will be fatherless. My father, Amen. my God, in the name of Jesus, I reverse their prayer back to them. Let Amen. their prayers condemn them. Let Amen. their prayers happen to them. Let their wishes happen to them. Let their wants happen to them. I decree by the decree of heaven, my children will not be fatherless. My Amen. children will not be vagabonds. Amen. My children will not be vagabonds. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Verse 10. It says, let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Yeah, I, I decree by the decree of heaven, anyone that has prayed against you, that your children will be vagabonds, your children will beg in the name of Jesus. All we say this day, that we reverse their prayers back to them. It will be their portion. They will eat of it and drink of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they pray this prayer, in their closed places, in their closets, on their Amen. altars, in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, we Amen. summon them back to their own words. Let Amen. it be their portion. Any Amen. arrow of this prayer that has been sent to me or any member of this uh, uh, church that deserves this prayer my father my god i stand in the blood of jesus i stand in the name of jesus and i reverse their prayers to them and i reverse this prayer 
over my seed, uh, that my seed will not be vagabonds. Uh, my yes. children will not be vagabonds. Uh, my children will not be beggars. Uh, in the yes. name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let the wicked not go unpunished. Let your pure judgment locate them. As long as they are wicked, as long as they feel the same for me, for your children, Father, let them not escape their own wrath. Let them not escape their own words. Let it be their portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It says, let the extortioner catch all that he has. Hallelujah. And let the strangers spoil his labor. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, let a creditor seize all he has. May stranger plunder the fruit of his labor. Let creditors seize all they have. Let strangers plunder the fruits of their labor. I stand in the blood of Jesus. I stand in the, in the grace of vengeance. This day, this moment, your word says, vengeance is mine and I'll repay. In the mighty name of Jesus, let creditors seize all they have. Let strangers plunder their fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reverse this prayer to any one that has prayed this prayer over me, over my household, over my loved ones, over us, in the mighty name of Jesus, whoever they are, wherever they are, wherever it was prayed, in their closets, on their altars, O oh God of heaven, we reverse, the, we reverse it back to them. Let creditors seize all they have. Let strangers plunder their fruits and of their labor. Let their mm -hmm. labor be in vain. Let mm -hmm. that which they wish for us be their portion in mm -hmm. the mighty name of Jesus, by mm -hmm. the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, O oh God of heaven, pour your pure judgment over the wicked, Pure Amen. judgment over the wicked. Amen. Pure judgment over the wicked. Amen. Pure judgment over the wicked. Pure Amen. judgment over the wicked. Pure Amen. judgment over the wicked. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. It says, let not none to extend mercy unto him. Neither let there be any favor his fatherless children. Halabasuliataya. First say, in the name of Jesus, I reverse this prayer to back to the sender. Anyone that has prayed this prayer against you, against me, first of all, we reverse it back to them. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are, whoever they are, first we reverse it back to the wicked. And we ask, yeah. oh Lord, that let, because of their wickedness, because of what they did, that we don't deserve. In the name of Jesus, let no one extend kindness to them. After Amen. now, in the mighty name of Jesus, and Amen. take no, take pity, take no pity. Let no Amen. one extend kindness to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I reverse yeah, this prayer back to the sender. I, I activate Psalm 109 verse 12 and reverse it back to the senders in the mighty name of Jesus. If it's good for me, it's good for you. Take it Amen. back. Take them back. Take them back in the mighty name of Jesus. Let his posterity, posterity be cut off and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. My father, mm -hmm. my God, let the posterity of the wicked in my life and destiny, in my family, in everywhere in my life, Lord, let their posterity be cut off. 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 And and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let their name be blotted out. What they wish for me, what they wish for us, let it be their portion. Let them eat of it and drink of it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Amen. Verse 14, let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Hallelujah. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. Let the sin of his mother 
never be blotted that raise up your right hand of fire say my father my father in the father, name of Jesus, the name above every other name for the wicked in my life my oh for god of heaven life. let oh, not their iniquity lord let's be remembered let their iniquity be remembered before you let their Amen. iniquity be remembered before you yes Amen. refresh their iniquity refresh their iniquity let the Amen. sin of their mothers not be blotted out Amen. let the sin of their mothers not be blotted out let Amen. wickedness come to an end in the name of jesus the name Amen. above every other name oh god of heaven in the mighty name of jesus uh, as we pray right now may the iniquity of their fathers be remembered uh, before you any wicked person you said you hate wickedness with a passion any man or woman that has taken us as an assignment oh god of heaven to disadvantage us let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered before you lord and let the sin of their mother not be blotted out in the mighty name of jesus we refresh your memory over the iniquity of their fathers we refresh your memory over the iniquity of their mothers in the mighty name of jesus let that which they wish for us let it be their portion in the name of jesus let them be before you O lord let the lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth my father my god uh, reject their sacrifices reject their petitions uh, reject their supplications uh, reject their pleas uh, reject them oh lord uh, in the mighty name of jesus cut them off cut their memories off or off this world in the name of jesus of this earth if that's what they meant for us father let them eat of it and drink of it let it be their portion in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name so shall it be in, in the name of jesus psalm 109 verse 21 verse 21 it says but do thou for me O god the, the lord for thy name's sake because thy mercy is good deliver thou me but you sovereign lord help me for your name's sake out of the goodness of your love, deliver me. Say, my Father, my God, in the my name Father, of God, Jesus, in Lord. this land of the living, sovereign Lord. God, help me for your name's sake. Help me, O Lord, out of your goodness, out of the goodness of your love. Deliver Lord. us, O Lord. Deliver me, deliver me. Help Lord. me for your name's sake. Help me out of your goodness. Help me out of your love and deliver me. Deliver me as God could help you for his name's sake ask god to deliver you out of his goodness ask god to help you as we enter into the month of october help you deliver you from the hands of wicked men and women deliver you from the hands of the enemy deliver you from the hands of the thief deliver you from the hands of of naysayers, uh, deliver you from the hands of destiny thieves, destiny destroyers, uh, vision killers. Ask God to deliver you. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me. Help me from for your name's sake. Lord, ask God, say, Lord, for your name's sake, help us. Help us, help us. Ask God to help you in your academics. Ask God to help you in that business. Ask God to help you in your family. Ask God to help your children. Ask God to help everything concerning you in that sickness ask god to help you help me help me help me for your name's sake lord help us for your name's sake 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 help us oh lord for your name's sake in the name of jesus ask god to help you for his name's sake in the mighty name of jesus amen amen we're going to pray according to 26 hallelujah 26 it says, help me, O Lord, my God, O save me according to your mercy. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask God as we enter into the month of October, 
Help us, O Lord, and save us according to your mercy. Save us according to your mercy. Save us according to your mercy. Help us and save us according to your mercy. Ask God in this month of October as I enter into it, help me. I ask for divine assistance and save me according to your mercy. Save me according to your mercy. Let your pure judgment locate the evil one. Let your pure judgment locate the wicked. Save me according to your mercy. Help me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion and as with a mantle in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle in the mighty name of Jesus. Save us. I stand on this exalted altar. In the name of Jesus, anyone that has taken you as an assignment, the Lord will help you. And the Lord will clothe them with their own shame. The Lord will cover them with their own agenda, who cover them with confusion. What was meant for you, the Lord turns them to good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our last prayer, Psalm 109 verse 30 says, I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude. Say, my Father, my God, let praise, let your praise not leave my mouth. If from now onwards into the month of October and beyond, I, I will greatly praise you in the name of Jesus. Your name will be praised. Your name will be extolled in the name of Jesus. Praising God is giving you a new song. Say, Lord, give me a new song, a new song, a new song of praise, a new song, a new song of praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Thank you, Alpha and Omega, the first, the last, the beginning and the end. We worship and adore you. Thank you, Lord. With our mouth, with my mouth, I will greatly extol you. I will greatly praise you from now on on into the month of October and beyond in the great throne of worshipers. I will praise you. Your name will be glorified. Your name will be magnified. I magnify your name all the time. I reverence you, respect you, honor you, O Lord. We call you with our mouth, Lord, we will greatly praise you, will greatly worship you. Take all the praise, take all the honor, take all the adoration. King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, the first, the last, we love you. You are the pillar that holds our lives in the name of Jesus. We extol you, worship you. You are the head of the church. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the creator of this universe, the Alpha and the Omega, the first, the last, the beginning and the end. You are the one that knows the end from the beginning. Take all the glory, take all the honor. You are the pillar that holds our life. You are Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Elohim. You are El Shaddai, Jehovah Mekadishem, Jehovah Sabaota. You are the Ali, Abasuda, Had, Yabakota, Tekehende, Yakasuli, Anta, Abandi, Yakasuli, Ante, Yabasiliata, Yari, Yakasuli, Atili, Ata Aranka Tahabu Silianta Amanki Yambu Kuhu Silihata Take all the glory, take all the honor Amani Lea Siliatu Liaba Sanda Elekaha Siliha Silihata Ereve Siliha Suliati Lee Kaliaba Koriaria Yagariaba Suliati Lee Araka Silia Siliata E Kadiaba Sore Kehata Yabatanda Take all the glory, take all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. It is settled. Amen. Amen. We deep Amen. all our prayers in the blood of Jesus. We come against any personality in, a, in any form that will try to retaliate because of our prayers. We come against them in the name of Jesus. We come against them by the blood of Jesus. We come against them by the word of God, which is a double-edged sword. We come against them by the fire of Elijah. We come against Amen. them by the power invested in God uh, that makes him the almighty. In the name of Jesus, we come against every retaliative spirit uh, that goes on uh, to, 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 to dissect 
what the Lord has said to retaliate on this earth. In the name of Jesus, we ask for I ask for the covering of God, the power of God, and the blood of Jesus over everyone that listens to this message that deserves it. In the name of Jesus, that wickedness, the Lord will pour his pure vengeance, pure judgment over the wicked. After now, wickedness will not be in your life anymore. You have overcome the power of wickedness. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise honor and honor. As we're living here, we're not living your presence. We ask that you send your angels to go back with us to our busy schedules, back to school, back to work, back to everything that you have entrusted in our hands. We ask for your hand of preservation. We ask for your hand of provision. We ask for your hand of protection. protection. We ask for direction this week and beyond in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the month of October. We ask, O oh Lord, that your will and will alone will be done in the month of October. Anything scheduled against our lives according to date and time, in this uh, according to year, Oh God, we have vet them, we escaped them in the name of Jesus. Any wicked person, unrepentant soul that has made themselves, um, has given themselves to the devil to use against us. Lord, as we pray today, let our prayers manifest in the camp of the enemies. Let it manifest in their covens. Let it manifest wherever they they meet and scatter yeah. them into pieces, scatter them into pieces, break yeah. them into pieces in the name of Jesus. We, yeah. we decree and declare peace over our lot, peace over our destiny, peace over our children. We decree and declare victory over what you have said concerning us in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for strength. We pray for power. We pray for good health. We pray, oh Lord, that you open our eyes so we we may see your goodness. Open our eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. If there is any way we, with our own hands, we are phantom or open portals for the enemy to come in. My Father, my God, by the blood of Jesus, we close all those portals in the name of Je Jesus. We ask that have your way. Have your way. Have your way, King of Kings. Have your way, Lord of Lords. Have your way, Alpha and Omega. And we shall be careful to bring you back the glory. We thank you, mighty God. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. God bless you. God bless you. Have a blessed week. Happy new month. Hallelujah. God Amen. bless you. Happy new month in Jesus' Amen. name. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, the love of God, Amen. and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. My head is a good head. My life My is a life good life. life. And you shall fight for us. Greatness is our portion. Lifting on our side. Protection on our side. Preservation on our side. Prosperity on our side. Healing on our side. Restoration on our side. Shame belongs to the enemy. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. You are blessed and highly favored. You are lifted in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen.